Minicamp practice was held right here at Lucas Oil Stadium on Wednesday, and it was open to the public, an opportunity for these fans to get their first glimpse of the 2016 Colts on the field. Thousands packed these stands on Friday in celebration of Carb Day and the 100th running of the greatest spectacle in racing. But for the drivers, it was one last opportunity to get out on that track and fine tune things before Sunday's big race. Pre-draft workouts continue for the Pacers here today at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. One guy who worked out the son of a former NBA superstar. Hear from him later on tonight in sports. Yeah, thanks guys. We're here live at Bankers Live Fieldhouse tonight where the Indiana Fever are back on their home floor coming off of two tough losses on the road. How do they bounce back here tonight against the Seattle Storm? We asked head coach Stephanie White. Hear from her on the other side of the break next in sports. Dunham had worked out for three other teams prior to today. He has one other workout scheduled in Chicago on Monday, but this one for the Indiana kid was a special one. Just a few months ago, Alexander Rossi wasn't even thinking about running in this year's Indianapolis 500. Tonight, he walks across this red carpet as the winner of the greatest race in the world as a rookie. 2008, that was the last time the Kentucky Boys All-Stars beat the Indiana All-Stars. 31 of the last 34 meetings have gone Indiana's way. Now practice will continue out here at IMS from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. tomorrow. It is free and open to the public in case you're interested in coming out here and watching. The green flag for this year's Brickyard 400 is set to fly at 3 p.m. a week from Sunday. From Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Peter Hood, 24-hour News 8. Now Chandler says the sport is growing in popularity and the crowd behind me is evidence of that. They play out here every weekend from now until the end of September and every week they raise money for a different charity. A very fun, family friendly atmosphere. From Hickory Hall Polo Club in Whitestown, Peter Hood, 24 hour News 8. And LaCroix, LaCroix, the cross. Yes! Are you kidding me? That's the Are you kidding me? It was no doubt a breakthrough spring season for the Indy 11. What a moment for this club. What a moment for this city. Oh, it was uh, it was very sweet. Uh, it was unbelievable. And on Saturday, that undefeated season will be recognized at Michael Carroll Stadium when Commissioner David Peterson is there to hand the team its first ever championship trophy before their fall season home opener against Minnesota. Um, we've, like I said, we've come so far uh, from where we started in the beginning and to reap the rewards of, of hard work and uh, on and off the field is just a, you know, it's a great feeling, uh, great experience and glad to do it with the guys that are uh, on the team right now. Well, you know, certainly uh, having a trophy presentation is an exciting moment for the fans, for the players to recognize the accomplishment. Head coach Tim Hankinson and company are all excited about lifting the trophy on Saturday. But they all acknowledge that the spring season is now in the past. It's a new season now, and the team that's coming to town on Saturday is in first place. Minnesota is a big rival. Uh, they're one of the best teams in the league. They're in first place right now. Uh, we beat them in the spring, and therefore the memory uh, of that game uh, and the revenge factor. So, you know, we've got to enjoy that moment for a split second with the trophy, but then we have to get to the locker room and refocus our, our sights on uh, Minnesota. A spring championship is something that everyone on the team can be proud of, but the boys in blue have bigger goals in mind. Winning the overall league championship in November is at the top of that list. Uh, just, you know, we got to keep working hard and um, we just got to be humble and know that, you know, we need to, to keep pushing and um, we can't just be complacent with where we are. We, that, that half of the season already passed and this is a new season now, so we got to start from square one again and then fight our way back up. In Westfield, Peter Hood, 24-hour News 8.